<laughs> hey y'all. Mm, mm, mm. You know, in the words of Stevie Wonder. Hey, yow. hey, 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 it's going round. It's breaking many hearts. Stop, stop it, please. You know it's gone too far. Oh, people. Oh, 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 oh. And the force of evil plans ooh, to make you his possession. Lord have mercy. I can't sing no more because I'll get copyrighted again like I just did the last video. But you know what, y'all? I want to welcome you. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. I feel so good today. Um, and I can't wait to get into this particular story. Even though I feel good individually, I know as a country, we are not doing the best. Let's, let's just go and admit it. We're doing very, very bad <laughs> as a country, as a whole, as a human family. We're doing even worse. All right, let's just get into this, y'all. You know, as y'all all know, the federal trial of Travis and Greg McMichael has started. And although I'm not surprised, there are a lot of people that's <laughs> acting surprised, like, ah, I can't believe they said that. And yada, 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 they said what? And here's the deal, you guys. And this goes for all of us, any of us, regardless of our color. Do you understand that hatred is a disease? I'm going to let that marinate for a minute because a lot of y'all don't feel that way. When you consume by hatred, I mean just consume by it, don't you know that it will alter your life? You will be a servant and a shepherd for the devil. For the entire life that you have. I wonder what kind of hell it must have been in there. Your household. Travis, Greg, McMichael, and your wife who looks like damn George Washington. And your daughter who also is a racist from what I, I gathered. To, would pass that all around the internet. Because y'all got y'all nigger killed. And a lot of y'all for just like a, a young man, sometimes a young man don't feel good until he break his first vagina in. A lot of white people don't feel good that got that kind of mindset until they get their first black kill. Y'all don't understand how deep this rabbit hole goes. There's a lot of hatred for us. And we don't seem to really, really realize how deep it is. Some people hate us so bad for the fact of who we are. OK, now, if you set Travis McMichael and uh, Greg McMichael in a room with LeBron James. They probably ask for his autograph like it ain't shit. They, they wouldn't ask that same thing of Muhammad Ali. At all. Because, see, men like that was taken off the TV screen. <laughs> Men like Farrakhan, you know, that speak truth to power. Uh, people like Muhammad Ali who speak truth to power. We can't really afford to have those kinds of black men in front of black people or white people to let you know how we really feel. But obviously, we're not a violent type people. The only people that we perpetuate violence upon is ourselves. We have a lot of misplaced anger. and Any fool can see it. 
any fool can see it because if any group of people had it done to them what they have done to us, we would be on high alert every time we walk down the street and shoot it and kill a white person every time we see them. We would have a whole bunch of uh, a, mob, a reverse a mob white uh, Aubrey. Every time a white man is in our house, every, uh, come to our yard, uh, a landlord, uh, a, a person walking up and down the street. Because, you know, they'll come up and down our neighborhoods. I don't care how ghetto it is at two or three o'clock in the morning because they have confidence that nobody going to bother them. But we would shoot them, too. You understand what I'm saying? If we were that hateful of a people, we hate what you have done to us. But we don't sit around all day consumed by hatred of white people because we understand how it will consume us. We understand how the hatred can destroy your life. We understand how un, uh, um, mitigated, unadulterated hatred ends up consuming the person that's the, that is the hater. And in this case, you got three hateful ass people now that's going to spend the rest of their life in prison along with their ugly wife and their uh, criminal daughter. <coughs> and you know why? Because they hate black people. All this because they hate black people so much. If that ain't no sickness, I don't know what a sickness is. If that ain't the craziest disease to ever have infiltrate your body, let Travis and Greg make Michael be an example of the hatred that white people have for black people for no apparent reason. Okay, Because really, we haven't done anything to them. Usually what we do, we do to ourselves. And the sad part about it is, they don't even want to acknowledge that. They don't even want to acknowledge that. That's why I said, black people, we're going to be forced. Forced. Oh, it's coming. We're going to be forced to love ourselves a little bit more. To counteract the hatred. From people like Travis and Greg McMichael and Roddy Bryant. Because what you saw in that courtroom was a typical diseased minded individuals. They're full of diseases. And for us, we have to be on high alert always because we never know where these kind of mindsets are but we know they all over we could tell when donald trump told him it was okay to act how they really felt that going to show you how crazy they are they was kind of suppressing it a little bit but donald trump told him it was okay it's okay for you to come out and hate those niggers and they've been showing you that ever since But people that got diseased hearts, I call them, I, I consider them an aberration. I don't consider all white people with the same hearts or the McMichaels. I, I, I mean, if I thought like that, I just would soon give up right now. Okay, it would never have been a John Brown, a Viola Uso, a Cheney, and them, you know, a Schwern. Look, it would have never been any of those, any, any of that. It wouldn't be, uh, uh, and you got people today. That we make fun of, but they don't mind rolling with black. Who would give up their black white privilege to be a black person? We laugh at Rachel Dolezal. Who would give up their white privilege to come over here and be mistreated? To be hunted down like a dog? Unless you really have some kind of love for humanity. So I don't talk about people like that. I don't, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just neutral as I back up because I got to really understand the person. I don't just jump on that right away. You understand what I'm saying? Because who would want to be in a situation where you hunt it and a society is set, set up for you to be hunted? In fact, the society helps you to be hunted. 
by redlining, red taping, all the things that they do, the institutions of hatred towards black people. Travis, you and your daddy gonna get it. Ain't no way around it. And so you only thing you can pray for now is you die before you go to jail. That would be your best bet. Ask the Lord to take your ass before y'all even get to the prison. Because other than that, when you get your ass to state prison, they got some presents waiting on all three of y'all. And they ain't going to be very nice. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to get off right now. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Please uh, share the channel. Um, please hit the notification button. YouTube has problems. Sometimes and it glitches out, but I need for y'all to make sure that you've hit the like button and please share the video. I love you, family, and I'll see you in the next video. I didn't mean to sound like Pharaoh, because that's what that sounded in. I love you, family. <laughs> anyway, see you in the next video.